A new report from CNBC explains why Chris Cuomo of CNN should absolutely resign or be fired. Now, that's not necessarily what the article is arguing here, but I think that's the logical and reasonable conclusion you'll come to if you read this article, knowing what we know about his behavior during his brother's sexual misconduct scandal. Because it's not just that, you know, behind the scenes he was advising his brother and supporting his brother. He was using his insider access as a national news pundit to assist his brother. And the details here are absolutely unethical, and he should feel really ashamed of himself. So as Brian Schwartz of CNBC reports, CNN host Chris Cuomo used his sources in the media world to seek information on women who accused his brother Andrew Cuomo, then the governor of New York, of sexual harassment according to documents released Monday by the New York Attorney General's office. While Chris Cuomo has previously acknowledged advising his brother and his team on the response to the scandals, the records show that his role in helping the then governor was much larger and more intimate than previously known. Chris Chris Cuomo was actively in touch with Melissa DeRosa, who was the then governor's top aide, about incoming media reports that detailed alleged sexual harassment by Andrew Cuomo, according to exhibits from the attorney general's probe and a transcript of his interview with the state's investigators. He also lobbied to help the governor's office as it sought to weather the storm of accusations, and he dictated statements for the then governor to use. Please let me help with the prep, Chris Cuomo said to DeRosa in one message in early March. Then, three days after the New York Times reported in March about how Andrew Cuomo attempted to kiss a woman, Anna Rooch, in an unwanted advance at a wedding, Chris Cuomo texted DeRosa, I have a lead on the wedding girl. Chris Cuomo told investigators that he engaged with what he described as sources regarding the various allegations against his brother that were described in at least one news article. According to the records, he also said he talked to his sources about yet-to-be-published stories from media outlets. I would, when asked, I would reach out to sources, other journalists, to see if they had heard of anybody else coming out, Cuomo told investigators. So he used his name and credibility as a CNN pundit to fish for information at the behest of his brother to help his brother get ahead of potential stories that were being published. One example in particular was of uh, him gathering intel for a story he knew that Ronan Farrow was going to be publishing. That is incredibly brazen. That is unethical. That is an abuse of power. And it's not like he is in any elected position of power, but as a pundit, you have a lot of power. You have a responsibility. And to do something like this, that is a betrayal of the trust of your viewers. Now, on top of that, remember how we were all making fun of Andrew Cuomo for saying that his uh, calls for resignation were basically tantamount to cancel culture? It was Chris Cuomo who advised him to say that. <laughs> So not only is he shamelessly helping out his sex pest brother, but on top of that, he's writing cringeworthy lines in response to calls for him to resign. It's truly remarkable. Look, it's his brother, right? So he's going to support his brother probably unconditionally. But for me, I don't know that I love my brother that much to where I would assist my brother in one of these scandals. I would tell my brother, do the right thing, resign, because this is pretty fucked up what you did. Maybe I'm just like a bad family member, but this is really fucked up to support your brother knowing what he did and then try to help him get ahead of these stories that you uh, were going to uh, or suspected would be published by using your credibility as a CNN anchor. That is so gross. I mean, imagine for a minute if... Uh, Tucker Carlson was the subject of the scandal, and his brother, who was a governor, was being assisted by him, and he was using his credibility, I use credibility charitably, by the way, he was using his credibility to help his brother get ahead. I mean, of course, CNN people and uh, MSNB news pundits would rightfully be calling for Tucker Carlson to resign. They call for him to resign already, which is good. But I mean, if you're going to hold uh, your ideological opponent's to one standard, you have to have that same standard. You have to be consistent across the board. And of course, it's only right that everyone else at CNN call on Andrew Cuomo or Chris Cuomo to resign because this is so fucked up. Now, at the time I record this, Chris Cuomo has not put out a statement, but CNN did indeed release a statement, and they say the thousands of pages of additional transcripts and exhibits that were released today by the New York Attorney General deserve a thorough review and consideration. CNN spokesman Matt Dornick said, we will be having conversations and seeking additional clarity about their significance as they relate to CNN over the next couple of days.
So what that means is we're going to wait like a week or so. We'll do a temperature check, see if this affects ratings, see if there's any substantial calls for him to resign. And if not, we'll just roll with it because he brings in the ratings and people seem to like him, hence why we, we employ him. And, you know, unless there's any significant pushback, then we don't really care. Um, it's, it's real uh, again, it's not necessarily um, surprising to me that he would try to help out his brother, I think that's gross considering he was doing these puff piece segments at CNN with his brother where he'd joke with his brother and not even do a real interview with him. That in and of itself was, I think, unethical. That was bad journalism. It was the lack of journalism. But for him to use his position of power at CNN, his position of influence to gather intel to help his brother, I mean, just take a moment and expand this. Imagine that every single politician in America had somebody in mainstream media that would assist them with one of these scandals. A close family member that was on the inside helping them. It would be it would be horrible. Imagine how bad the country would be. Imagine imagine how much more politicians would get away with. And certainly Andrew Cuomo resigned, thankfully, because the calls became overwhelming. But still, I mean, the goal of journalists is to hold politicians accountable. The goal of the media is to act as basically an unofficial fourth branch of government. Ask yourself, does Chris Cuomo meet these standards here? Does he live up to the criteria of modern journalism? Absolutely not. So, I mean, he's got to resign. This isn't even a question. He should have resigned after uh, this scandal broke with his brother and he gave a bunch of softball interviews to his brother. I mean, the fact that he advised his brother alone is bad because, I mean, if you're advising someone who's a sex pest on how to skirt accountability, that shows that you lack moral character and you care more about, you know, politicians, even if it's your brother, I don't care, uh, you know, than actually supporting women. That that makes you biased. That makes you a bad pundit. That sours your political commentary, you know, in my view. So I, I don't even think it's a question. Should he be fired? Uh, yeah, he should. But will he? Who knows uh, at this point? You know, certainly he was encouraging his brother to remain defiant amid that scandal. So for this scandal, he'll probably remain defiant. And it's really going to come down to, I think, how much backlash and pressure CNN receives. Were you acting like a...